Welcome to the Land of House YouTube channel. I'm Seth. Since you watch Land of House, you've probably also seen the 55 gallon siphon videos from Learn for Life and a few other channels that make them. Well, I was shown a video of a siphon that uh, looks just like this. And I thought to myself, if that works, I don't think it would run for very long as it uses up the pressure in the tank. So I built one and I'm gonna test it out. So real quick, let me take you back to the shop and show you how I built this and then we will test it out. Got some flow out of there, but certainly not enough to get this thing going. Okay, I went back and watched the video again. It's a channel called Mr. Cover, and uh, they do a lot of these little water siphon things. So what I wanna do is kind of replicate what he had going on. And he had what seemed to be pretty much a full tank on both of these, okay? And once he had this thing up and out of the water, he simply did this motion until water came out. <laughs> I think he's full of it, but we'll see. I've spent a couple more minutes trying to get this thing to work. And anytime I get water up to this point and I turn it up, uh, the water just falls back down the lower pipe here which is what you would anticipate it to do based on gravity. But I tried the uh, shake back and forth movement the guy tried. Yeah, nothing ever happens. I really did not expect this thing to work. And if it does work, I don't think it would work for very long. So if you do get water to go up this tube down into here, and it would have a, a certain amount of pressure in here, it's going to be waterlogged pretty quick because that pressure is gonna pull out and either go this way or reverse uh, back down there. So I might put a Schrader valve in here to pump up some more air, um, but I kind of expect it's just going to push the water that's in this tube out um, and not work. So, Because you know how a siphon will take water from a higher level, siphon up and over, and then back down to a further level, and uh, that's what keeps the water moving. This though, having water pull way up here and you know, go down this way, it's just not gonna work. So uh, that's one thing I wanted to uh, demonstrate. Uh, I wonder if in the video, there is a very fine cut and they've hooked up an electric pump to this thing. Otherwise, I don't think it's gonna work. If you watch the video and you see some kind of modification you'd like me to try to get this thing to work, write those in the comments down below. I will keep this as is and we will do another experiment I do also want to try out the 55 gallon barrel siphon. And I think that one actually has a bit more potential because they uh, fill the system with water from the top and it has that uh, 55 gallon drum that's metal and it will hold pressure while that siphon starts. And I think those will also stop after a certain amount of time because the pressure in that tank will be um, reduced as it operates. So anyway, we'll get to that kind of test later. This one is a similar idea. It just doesn't have the way to pour in to get the system started. Um, so anyway, I want to uh, try to debunk some of these things that they may work. They just take a lot of time to get started and they won't operate 24 seven as they seem to on these other videos. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm Seth with Land the House and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.